Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. If you haven't already, please support my channel by hitting the like button, leaving a comment, subscribing. If you want to join membership because I do have all those new levels, I will put the link down below. And I do have maybe one or two openings for a reading in July and uh, a few in August too, I have some openings. Uh, that's dianaquarius.com if you want to book a reading. And so I thought we would take a look today at what happened in England with them getting a new prime minister and then what just happened in France on the 7th with their election and how that is going to affect us. So if you remember in my January 2024 predictions video, I said as a collective, we're going to keep going more left leaning. We're going to become more liberal, more compassionate, more understanding. And we're seeing that happen slowly but surely. So England's new prime minister, Keir Starmer, and if I mispronounced it, I am truly sorry. And also too, for all of you viewers that are in England and France, put your two cents into the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. So the new PM, uh, he is part of the Labour Party and it was a landslide victory. And so England is really shifting over. And so they're going to be addressing their healthcare system, the NHS, immigration, the prison crisis. There's like a real overcrowding issue that they're having. Uh, they're going to be reviewing the sentencing of like how they, um, you know, deal with prisoners. It sounds very similar to what actually what we've been going through. So let's see how this new prime minister is going to do. Let's take a peek. I have very high hopes. I am very optimistic about this. Okay. Look at that. People coming together. Two of cups. So isn't that nice? So, you know, people joining together, making compromises, coming up with new ideas, new contracts, seeing eye to eye. Okay, being on the same like emotional wavelengths. His obstacle, he's going to have some tower moments. I'm not overly concerned about that because I think you could say that of any prime minister, any president, any leader. He's going to have some issues, right? He has his work cut out for him. But look at this. Here he comes in with like this new beginning, right? Because the fool's about a new beginning, taking a leap of faith, having that faith and trust in the universe. So really restoring people's hopes and expectations, optimism, that, that sort of thing, bringing that back. And there's a lot to learn in all of this. And I think this is also how it affects us as Americans. You know, here's the hermit. The hermit is about learning more, education, taking things one step at a time, right? So, you know, to sort of damper his tower moment, I would say to him, go slow. I know you want to tackle everything at once. Nothing's going anywhere. You know, learn what you need to learn. But also as Americans, I think we can watch and learn from this. And if I take the card from the bottom, the star card, the card of new beginnings, hope, right? When you wish upon a star, your dreams come true. And balance. She has one foot in the water, one foot on the ground. So I have a lot of high hopes for this new prime minister. And I wish everyone in England and all their politicians the best. So looking at France, so they went through uh, a couple of rounds. This was their second round of legislative elections. Uh, it happened on July 7th. And it was to elect all 577 members of the National Assembly. And so we get like this party coming forward. The national, um, it's funny because like, I, because you know how in France they say things backwards from us, like NFP, but for us it'd be NPF. So um, the new, the new popular front, the new popular front. I need to remember that because I think we're going to be hearing a lot more of that. And so they want a plurality of the seats and, um, you know, sort of like throwing out a lot of the conservative party, you know, after like 14 years, um, 
you know, it, it's, it's a change. So let's see how France is going to do with their new members, how they're going to weather this. Once again, I feel optimistic. And I do know that I have some French viewers, so let me know what you think. Okay, eight of wands. Things are speeding up. They're moving forward. They're progressing, right? This is one of the few cards that really denotes speed, progression, things going forward. So France is really kind of going through a revolution. Obstacle, no surprise, five of wands. They don't all see eye to eye. That's, you know, people bickering, arguing, because you have to remember, no matter what country we're talking about, what the election is, who wins, who loses, not everyone's going to be happy. And I think that's what we're going to see. Oh, this is, when I look at the bottom of the deck, this is kind of crazy, but give me a minute. Things become more fair and balanced, the justice card. So, you know, this really brings, and isn't it funny because we talked about things becoming more balanced in England, things are becoming more balanced in France. And so that makes me think that the people that were looked over, the underdogs, the people that did without, that lacked, this is like their time to receive justice. And also too, which, you know, because we just got done talking about England reforming their prison system. Um, that makes me wonder if France is going to undergo something similar. So four of swords, a time of contemplation, reflection. So not huge uprisings, not huge, um, you know, protests. Like this is going to be okay. Even if they do have some skirmishes here and there, the overall energy is peaceful. And it's funny, the bottom of the deck, and you saw how I put the cards away and I shuffled, they also get the star card, right? The card of wishes and dreams coming true, balance, harmony, you know, all those good things. So, so once again, I feel very optimistic for, for France. Now let's take a look at America. How is America going to be after their election, right? So after our election in November, how is that going to turn out? Because I am going to be making another video about a little, well, not a little shakeup, a big shakeup that I see coming with the Republican Party. So let's see, how is America going to be? So we just saw England and France, some of our oldest allies. Oh, so we go through tough times, right? Um, you know, as Americans, we are sort of fighting tooth and nail. We're extremely divided, aren't we? Obstacle, having a tough time having a new beginning, okay? Oh, you know what I think this is? You know what I think this is speaking to? I would not be surprised if we do not know the results Either we don't know the results immediately, like when we should, right? Because I mean, we, we kind of should know pretty much by the time we go to bed on election night. Either that, or we're going to have the Republicans questioning it, you know, not accepting the results. But ah, victory and triumph. So, you know, this, this person, he has gone through a battle here he is emerging victorious and triumphant. He is seated on his horse. Life is good. And death card, the card of transition, transformation. Five petals, a time of change, right? Being reborn, going through a rebirth, right? So it's all for the best, but it's not going to be smooth. You know, I, I still see Biden winning. I don't question that, but I just think it's going to be a bumpy road, okay? So let's finish up with a three card pull. Uh, we'll do the Sonia Chiquette one, the Divine Energy Oracle. Take a nice deep breath 
ask your guides, what do I need to know? And I'm just going to take the top three cards. Oh, I like that. So, do you feel drawn to one, two, or three? First card, do something different. Sometimes we get stuck in a rut, our energies get stuck. You know, I think when our energies get stuck, then we have a hard time coming up with new ideas, moving forward, progressing. Do something different, change it up. Even if it's just like how you get home from work or what you have for dinner, change things up. Seek hidden treasure. I like that and I think that can mean a lot of different things from everything from going within and doing a deep dive into yourself at, you know, what are some of my capabilities? What are some of my spiritual gifts? What are just some of my intelligences that I can build from? To maybe literally seeking hidden treasure, you know? Um, and this has come up a lot in private readings that I've done with people, inheritances. And then number three, grieve your losses. So often we don't take time to acknowledge when we've lost something, whether it's a job, a pet, a parent, a spouse, whatever it is, our health, you know, something, we've lost something and we don't take the time to grieve and allow it to happen. And, you know, people will always try to cheer you up, but sometimes I think it makes it worse. And there is no time limit on grief. Take as long as you need. All right, everybody, let me know what you think in the comments. And I will see you again in probably another day or two. Bye, everyone.